Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Move tool in the toolbox to resize, rotate, move, and skew the text boxes that you create within Photoshop Elements. For paragraph text only, you can also use the same text tool that you used to create the text to resize the bounding box of the text, leaving the text within the bounding box alone. In this lesson, you will see the different ways that you can manipulate text boxes in Photoshop Elements. To resize a text box for any type of text, Click the Move tool within the toolbox. Then click the text box that you want to resize to select it. Place your mouse pointer over a resizing handle, which are the small squares at the sides and corners of the text box's border, until your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed arrow. When it does this, you can click and drag to resize the text box in either direction shown by the arrows. When you release the mouse button, the text box and all of the text it contains will be resized to fit the new size of the text box. For paragraph text only, you may also resize a bounding box without resizing the text contained within it. To do this, first select the same text tool from the toolbox that was used to initially create the text box that you want to select. Place your mouse pointer over a resizing handle, which are the small squares at the sides and corners of the text box's border, until your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed arrow. When it does this, you can click and drag to resize the text box in either direction shown by the arrows. When you release the mouse button, only the bounding box of the paragraph text will be resized. The text within the bounding box will remain the same size it was prior to the resizing. To rotate the bounding box, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box that you want to rotate. Roll your mouse pointer outside of the bounding border adjacent to one of the resizing handles until you see the mouse pointer turn into a small bent double pointing arrow. Click and drag at that point to rotate the bounding box. If you hold down the Shift key as you do that, you'll constrain the rotation to 15 degree angles. To move the bounding box to a different location in your image, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box that you want to move. Click and drag within the text shown in the bounding box to move the bounding box. Release your mouse button when the bounding box is in the location you desire. To skew the bounding box, which slants the bounding box and also the text within it, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box that you want to skew. Hold down the Control plus Shift keys on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the resizing handles at the top, bottom, left, or right sides of the bounding box to skew the text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.